Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? So today we are going to create a password journal template in Canva. First of all, go to canva.com. It's free to use for most all of its all of its uh, items here. And so if you've never done it before, just go ahead and create an account. You can also at once you do that come down here to brand i believe is what it is oh here we go right here so uh with just the free you can put in three brand colors and you can actually now this is new you can change your heading your subheading and your body styles to what you want so we are going to make a password journal we are going to go up here to create a design go down to custom dimensions remember if you know the pixels use pixels i go inches so that i get the eight and a half by 11. so and then width we're going to go 8.5 height we're going to go 11. you can also do 11 by 8.5 which just makes it a longer so eight and a half by eleven create new design and here we are Ta -da! okay first what we want to do uh we're going to put us a heading click on text right here add heading and it's going to add this we're going to have to delete it. Go pass word journal. Oh, I don't know if ah, I think we're going to. Let's see. We're going to make that. Yeah, try 30. Ooh, that's too small. 56. Uh, Here, let's go 48. 48 looks good. Okay, so password journal. Put it up top here. We can also check out some of these. Let's see. That's kind of pretty, but you really are not sure what it says. Uh, let's just go with plain Jane for today. Okay, so we are going to make. So we're going to have a username, a password, an email, website, and notes section. You want to make sure as you're doing your elements, each element that you want to copy for the next section is completed. If you want check boxes, let's see. Let's go here. We're gonna go here, and for this we can make it a small. Then we can, because the it was kind of wide. Let's see why. Ooh. Oh, we have one that is not right. Okay, do this one again. Oops. Too much. There we go. I have one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, oops. Oh, we are going to select all of those ones. I'm going to, we're going to set it over here for a minute. Now we're going to go to text. A little bit of body text. Oh, wow. Okay, so we are going to put that over like that and bring our little box here. We are going to grab our, oh, come on, grab our box. Move that. Ooh, nope, we want to just, we want to move it. Hello. Sometimes it gives you a little bit of a problem. And, okay, so let's just bring you over. 
go. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna put you right there. So options. Bring this one over. And you can use your arrows also to if you want it to go just a little bit and you cannot get it right because I have that problem sometimes. You might actually shrink the text here. Where we're gonna go. Let's see. There we go. Over. Okay, up just a little bit. I think I like that better. There we go. And then that one will go down one. Down. Let's see. Let's grab here. Might be a little too big. Let's go with 21. I think maybe 21 would be a little better. Go. You just got to play with it a little bit. Don't be scared of it. And uh, make sure all your elements are done first before you copy and paste everything. If not, it can be a mess. Alrighty, so here's our first section. So if we take our cursor, we go bam, bam. It's going to take all of them. And we're going to copy. And we're going to paste. And we're going to move it over here. And there it is. Paste and do, and we're gonna go and bring you down just a bit. That. Just a little bit more. Paste. We're gonna bring this in here. Oop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I think we got it. Paste. Right down here. Love the little grid lines. The little grid lines really help bunches. And here I need to go down just a little bit. Let's see. Uh, a little bit more, it looks like. So, when you copy and paste, you always have to be inside of the piece of paper. Otherwise, it gives you other, the other keys. So, if you go here, see, it'll just give you all that. But when you're here on the page, it'll give it to you. you go, okay. See there, that was pretty easy, right? This is how you can make, and it then, if you want to, they could, you know, play with the colors, copy it, make it. Okay, say, let's do this color. We'll go with gray. 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 And gray. And then say for this one we'll do green. You make it however you want to make it. How a little bit of fun. And remember you can use the arrow keys. Arrow keys can be very crucial sometimes. So purple, 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 and purple.
All right. Well, you know, you get the point. Play with it however you want. You can do the text different colors also. So play around with it and have some fun. See, and now we have that one. And then we have the colorful one here. Alrighty. Well, I hope you like this video. I will see you soon. Bye.